Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dry the Matador and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. But before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters that's on my screen. A big shout out to Samai aka the real AG, Weez G and Z Gaming, Foxy Clats V5, Crazy Boss V31, and even Moldy Superman YT. These people are our channel members on our YouTube platform, and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So, with that all said, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install and add a button on your Discord stats. So if you guys don't know what is a Discord stats, okay, then I'll show you, okay. As you guys can see, I've got my YouTube and my Discord server buttons on my um, on my profile stats. So that is what we are going to do and that is what I'm going to show you right now on how to add the buttons onto your Discord um profile stats so yeah so let's get started okay because i don't want to waste time so all you guys got to do is go into my description and now download the custom discord stats and then now we can get started but before we do get started we need to uh add our application okay so go into my description below and now click on the link and the link will be the discord.com developers application once you go to this website over here, you can create a new application, but I have already done one. So go to your application, select any application you got. Now make sure you go to bot, okay, and create a bot and add a bot. Once you have done that, then go to your rich presence. Now come over here and now select any image you want, okay. Uh, it can be an image of you or anything, okay. Select any image you want. They come down here and now add an image. Add any image, okay? Uh, I'm just going to add one for the sake of it. Now, once you add an image, copy the name of the image. Okay, copy the, copy the name. Now go back to general information and now we will be copying the client ID soon. Now, once you have downloaded this, okay, uh, a big warning too, guys, uh, I forgot to mention, is that make sure that you're online, okay, as you guys can see, I am online, and make sure that you go to your user settings, go to game activity, and make sure this is enabled as well. Now, once you guys have enabled your game activity, then we can get started. Go to your extract folder, your custom Discord extract folder. Right click and extract here. Now this folder will open. Open up your custom Discord folder. And now all you gotta do is go to your, your index.js. Right click and edit. Now over here, there's a few things that you must do, okay? Now over here is your text, okay? Your text details. Now details is like this express codex, okay? So that's the details that will go over here. So you type in your details over here. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna type, uh, sorry. I'm just going to type, um, uh, the lost boy. Okay. Uh, and over here is your large image. Now this is where you paste your image there, your, your image name. Now this one over here is your large text um, status. I'm just going to um, put down here Lost Boy again. I don't know why I picked Lost Boy. Uh, now over here is your status, okay? Your, your, like your actual, your actual status, status like, um, like over here. I'll show you guys, okay? Like, uh, for an example, Weez Z Gaming, he is playing um, Fat Duck Gaming. 
Now, this is what he's playing. It says plane again. Now, over here, it says plane. So, you can change this to plane, or you can change it to listening, or watching, or streaming. It's all totally up to you, okay? Uh, but I'm gonna leave it as default. And now, come down here, and now this is where the fun starts. This is the buttons, okay? So go to label button one, and now I'm gonna change this one over here to YouTube. So you type in YouTube, or Twitch, or Twitter, or whatever you want, okay? So I'm gonna type in YouTube. Now go to the link one, and then now I'm gonna go to my YouTube channel, and I'm gonna copy the custom URL. You can just go to your YouTube channel if you want to, and just copy the URL from there, but I like to use my custom URL and then I go to link one and paste your link right there Now button two is going to be my discord server So erase that and now type in discord server Now if you want to use your discord server all you got to do is go to your top left hand side click on the drop down menu and now click on invite people now come over here and now edit your invite links come to expire after and now select never go to max numbers of users and now click on no limit then generate your link copy and then now just minimize that and then now all you got to do is go to your url link to and now paste your invite right there and that's all you got to do. Now your client ID, we go back to our web browser. Go to your Discord developer application. And now all you got to do is copy your client ID. So once you have done that, then now all you got to do is paste your ID right here. And then now, there you go. So that's how you guys do it. Once you have finished with this, okay, then yeah, we can save it go to file oh wait let me just double check oh, that's done that's done that's done double check okay yep yeah. go to file then save exit out of your text file now let's go and check no not there yet that's good now the next thing you got to do is come over here you just click over here just click there and then now type on your keyboard cm D and now your command prompt will come up and now all you got to do is type in there is N O D E node space index dot J S and now press enter and now let's go and have a look bingo lost boy you see and now it's working now let's now let's just test this to see if it really works we are going to go and uh, open up a different browser okay and i'm going to log in to a different discord account and now this is my hang on guys don't know why this popped up now i'm going to go and log into my other discord account and my discord account is called southside now as you can as you guys can see uh, it says playing tester right there and that's my tester bot now click on YouTube and now that will redirect me to my YouTube channel and then there you go see it does work guys but unfortunately I can't click on discord because I'm already inside that discord server so yeah so you guys it is actually working but there's still more news now the most, the most important thing is you cannot close this, okay? That's the most important thing. You cannot close this, you, but you can minimize it, but you cannot close this because if you do close this, then this, then your status will disappear. So you must leave this open, okay? Just like minimize it and then just leave open. Now this does not work on mobile, so you cannot install on mobile, okay? So yeah, just leave this um, open guys and just minimize it, okay? So uh, because if you do close it, then yeah, you'll end up losing it.
But there is good news though, is that if you do go sleep and you want to end it, okay, you can end it. See, there it goes, and now it's gone. Now, if you want to bring it back, the good news about this, okay, is that all you gotta do is go back to your folder, come up here again, and I type in CMD, and I type in NODE index.js. Press enter, and then now go back, and now it's there again. So that means you don't have to go back to your file, your index.js file, and now you don't have to do all the settings. All you gotta do is bring up the CMD, type in NODE index.js, and then that's it. So that's how you guys install the buttons on your Discord um, stats. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Don't forget guys, I will be uploading more tutorial videos for GTA V, PC modding tutorials, and even Discord tutorials too. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more gaming content and tutorials. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.